So I am here to talk about how to engage your turnout deeply from the inside out and why it's important to ballet technique and uh, support in the body and how the initiation of turnout actually affects many, many other places in your entire physicality. If you um, look at uh, Kate sideways, and I, what, this is what I call it, I call it the underbuns. The underbuns are underneath your, two, your leotard line. So it's the lowest, lowest part of your rear end and that the muscles that also wrap around the, the sits bones, the very bottom of your pelvis. And those muscles, if those muscles are soft, you actually can't get to the top of your turnout, which you know is in your um, rotators and in your hamstrings. And uh, what I've noticed is that when dancers are not using those muscles, they are what I, it, to me, it looks like the energy kind of just drops out from underneath them. Sort of like if you had a bridge that had no poles, you know, no support um, columns. And so when you, use these muscles, or what I call the underbuns, which are not only the ones on the outside, but come all the way deeply into the center of your, the bottom of your pelvis, those muscles actually lift you up and you're able to rotate and stay supported. So Kate, why don't we start with you disengaging your underbuns and dropping your core muscles. You can see that these muscles are now soft and there's nothing actually supporting her uh, in her ballet technique. But if she wraps under her underbuns and pulls them, do you see so all of a sudden these muscles engage and this scooping in and up and through the top of her, her uh, energy, top of her head, gives her this very, very, it's almost like a pillar of strength that is way, 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 way past her body. Let's, let's do a susu and up into a retire. Here, you know, you can really see, and we just call this the tutu leg. It's a beautiful line where you really see the muscle wrapped around your leg. If she faces front, put your hands behind your back, you can see that these muscles are completely engaged and supported. And now turn facing the bar. All the way. Mm -hmm. And that these muscles are pulling very, very deeply together. This is going to give her the most efficient strength in her pirouettes. If she lets it go, can you see if you can let it go? I don't know if she can anymore. What happens is the pelvis tilts, and then these muscles, and you can relax for a second, <laughs> become basically what I call flabby or flaccid, and they are just sort of hanging off the bone. They're not really helping the dancer be lifted up off their legs. Show everybody what it looks like when you let go of your under buns in this position. You can see, it's even hard for her now, she doesn't know how, but see there's no actual energetic support. Then pull these muscles under buns together and look what happens to her line. So it's important in absolutely every single position. The other thing about turnout is that you can't actually get to the top of your turnout if you're not using your core muscles. And so we also focus a lot on carriage and core because even if you're trying really hard and you're using your underbuns, if you're sinking in your upper body, you're not really lifted off your legs. So just go into first position, Kate. So, so I want you to um, relax your underbuns and I want you to a little bit sink in your, in your upper back. So you can see, put her arm to the side, that her core is now not supporting her. Um, her rear end is soft or there's just no muscle engagement going on there at all. And there's no real energy going through her body or her back. So the energetic lines are, you know, squeezing the underbuns and do that, squeeze those underbuns, lifting deeply up through the core muscles and up through the top of the chest and back. And this 
actually, and if you turn to the front, try that one more time in the first position. The idea is that all these muscles get engaged and pull into the center. When you pull these very deeply into the center and your core is lifted, then your limbs can actually expand. So all of this is pulling deeply in and everything else is lengthening away. If you have no central core or central place in the turnout in the core muscles, then you can't really expand because there's nothing to pull against. So it's really, uh, I always say it's like two different universes. One is imploding and one is exploding, right? So more, the more deeply she gets into these muscles, into her underbuns and core and lifting the spine, the more she can actually lengthen and use all of those very long lines and be fully supported in her dancing.